Hey, Megan. Hey, good morning, Ellen. You know, when you're right around them, do you think that there's anything more beautiful than butterflies? This morning, we're at Brookside Gardens in Maryland, where there is a whole area of butterflies all around us. We're gonna learn about them. We're gonna even make some of their natural habitats that you could do at home with the National Wildlife Federation. So stay with us. We've got that and much more coming up on this Monday. I'm sitting with a great day, Mercedes-Benz is taking our Megan Mooney today. Megan, where are you? Oh, there's butterflies over there. Yeah, you guys definitely want to get down to Brookside Gardens here in Maryland. There are, I don't know how many butterflies, but they are so beautiful. And we're here with David from the National Wildlife Federation, learning all about them here. So can you kind of describe, is this like a natural habitat for the butterflies? Well, this is kind of a simulation of what a natural habitat would look like. There are species from all over the world, both butterflies and plants. But one of the most amazing things about this is that you can be inspired here to plant a butterfly garden just like this in your own yard. Love that. Yeah. And we don't even have to have a yard. You could just have, you know, like a, a little back area exactly. or something or a balcony. Yeah. If you can plant something, even in a container, you can create a butterfly garden and really help support these species. Now, there are some yeah. butterfly species like the monarch butterfly, mm -hmm. you know, iconic black and orange butterfly. We all have seen them, know them, love them. They've declined by 90% in just the last 20 Why years. Why is that? Well, it's because they don't have habitat. They don't have the plants that they need to survive. And so that's why the National Wildlife Federation's Garden for Wildlife program is all about inspiring people to plant butterfly gardens. So again, if you come to Brookside Gardens, you can get really great ideas on some of the plants that will work in your yard and also some cool projects that you can do to actually help attract more butterflies. So I'm going to get you working here. So later we are going to plant one of those butterfly gardens. Yes. And we're even going to create some sort of like puddling thing, which is what they exactly. eat. They, they like to eat soil, they like drink it up with water. But right now we're creating something that has fruit in it. Exactly. So, so butterflies, they don't have a chewing mouth. They have a mouth like a straw. And so normally what they're eating huh. is flower nectar. But some butterflies love to eat really delicious things like rotting fruit or animal <laughs> dung or even the rotting carcass of dead animals. So next Ooh. time you see a butterfly flying you around out there, delicious. yeah, and you think of them, associate them with these beautiful flowers, just remember. Let them land on you and lick you. Yeah, so, so what you can do is, and I'm going to let you chop up that banana. Alrighty. So basically oh. what you want to do is just get some old fruit Yep. and go ahead and... So I'm going to yeah, chop this up a little here, bit you know and we just leave I'll that out. There. Yeah, you, what you do is you leave this mm -hmm. out and you could even put a little bit of splash of water on there um, or even like if you have a little bit of wine left over because... Um, I guess we could share with the butterflies. <laughs> right, they are exactly, that beautiful. Exactly, because, because what happens is the fruit ferments and that is actually attractive to them. And so you might get um, really cool woodland butterflies like commas or question marks, really interesting those species. Those are the types? Those are Because they, they have little marks on their wings that look like those, those punctuation points. Is it true that there are 250,000 species yes, of there's, butterflies? Yes, there is a whole lot of butterfly oh, species. Oh my, out I there. was doing a guessing game with yeah. my photographer as we drove over here, and he said 100. I said, mm, no, wrong. The, yeah. 200, mm, not even close. Thousands. Insects so are the cool. most diverse group of wildlife on the planet, and they count as wildlife. A lot of people think of wildlife, they think of wolves and bison and you know bears and lions, but insects <laughs> are wildlife. And so again, you can create a wildlife-friendly garden, get it certified by the National Wildlife Federation. In fact, Brookside Gardens has their ground certified as a wildlife habitat and everybody at home can do this. So again, yeah, come out here, be fruit. inspired, look at these gorgeous butterflies, these beautiful plants and, and get ideas on what you can do you know what's right so in your own too? yard. Just about this area here, you guys can, can kind of take a look. I mean, butterflies are literally everywhere. We've had to watch where we step because they sometimes will land on the ground. They'll fly right in front of you. They said, you know, if, if you have sweat on you, they might even land on you. Yeah. So I've had a bunch around my armpits all morning long. So <laughs> David, we're going to spend the morning with you. We're going to make some more DIY projects that everybody can do at home, yep. especially with their kids on these hot, hot days um, and attract some butterflies to your own yards and make sure that their spe the species is continuing to grow. All right, guys, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Butterflies, and amazing butterflies at that, Megan. Yeah, Melissa, so when we were last here, we were learning with David from the National Wildlife Federation about how butterflies eat. Now we're learning how they drink, and it's like they're always sipping through a straw. That's so, right. They don't have chewing mouths. They have a straw-like mouth called a proboscis. So that's why when they eat, it has to be liquid. So it's either flower nectar or you know liquid from rotting fruit. So what we're going to talk about here is <laughs> the second thing that all animals need. Everything needs to eat. Everything also needs to drink. Okay. And they like it with soil. Yeah. So what we're going to do here, we're going to create a butterfly puddling area. This is actually a project from Ranger Rick magazine, um, <laughs> and it's something that kids can do, but you know cool. grown-ups can do it too. So I'm going to have you, Megan, just 
pour some of that sand in there while right. I put some of this. Kind um, of just right yeah, on top? Exactly, yeah. All I'm doing here is that I've got some really dark, rich um, garden soil, some sand. We're going to put in some gravel. Okay. Ooh. Now, people are probably thinking, like, what the heck does this have to do with butterflies? So mix that all in really well. No. Butterflies can't go to, say, a bird bath filled with water and get a drink because they're insects and they might get caught in the water. So what you can do is you can create a puddling area like this. Yep. Um, just a flower pot drainage dish. You kind of mix up all this soil. It's filled with minerals, and then you just moisten it. And what happens is, is that those butterflies come in and they will land on this muddy soil, which is now filled with minerals and they will suck up see that little bit of water yes, right yeah. there just enough for the butterflies to kind of get a little bit of a drink not big enough for mosquitoes you don't want to make a pool out of this i was just gonna ask yeah. you when it rains maybe we should bring this in or you can just tip it over and and drain it out now this okay. is a great way to you know make a, a great water feature a puddling area it's basically just mud without having a big mud patch in your yard yes. because you just put it in the dish and it looks beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful. thoughtful. Yeah. Exactly. Should we try it out like this? <laughs> now, you, you can try it. Now, something that you said is um, is a really cool thing that people should get involved in is That's trying right. to do the butterfly wings. I go a little nuts. Yeah, so. the National Wildlife Federation has the Butterfly Heroes Pledge. Everybody out there can make the butterfly symbol, American Sign Language, and pledge to plant a butterfly garden. We're going to be talking about how to do that in like two minutes. I did it on my yeah. social media pages, so That's hopefully right. you guys can too. We're going to be using this when we come back here to make more things for the butterflies, a home for them. Guys, stay with us. For now, we'll send it over to the studio and see what you guys are doing. Coming awesome. up after the break, we're going to have some smoking hot Father's Day gifts. Plus, we're going to get ready to head back out and see the light and airy butterflies. Megan Mooney has more from Brookside Gardens in Wheaton, Maryland after the break. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to Great Day Washington. This morning I'm here with David from the National Wildlife Federation. And whether you live at, you know, some place in the, in the rural area or in the city, you can make a home for butterflies. And it will actually make a difference in the world, including what we eat every day. Before we get to that, David, walk us through what we're doing here. So what I'm doing here is planting a container garden for butterflies and other pollinators. Super simple. I live right in Washington, D.C. I don't have a big yard, but I plant in containers. So let's, um, I'm actually gonna fill this up for you and, and I want you to get your hands dirty in here, Megan, and Done. just start planting away. It's like a spa with all yeah. the mud. Now what okay. you wanna think about when you're planting a container garden for pollinators and other butterflies mm -hmm. is you wanna make sure that they have food both for the adult butterflies. Yep. So you can see all these beautiful blooming plants okay. and go ahead and just start planting them in here. You wanna plant densely. Uh, but you also want to make sure that you have plants for the caterpillars of the butterfly. Butterfly caterpillars can only eat certain plants. We call them host plants. Without them, the butterflies cannot complete their life cycle. Now, remember we were talking a minute ago about the monarch butterfly, mm -hmm. how it's declined by 90%? Yeah. It's mostly because we've gotten rid of milkweed. That's the only host plant for the monarch caterpillar. Without this milkweed, is milkweed. Yeah, and so I want to show you a few different amazing examples of milkweed. So this is common milkweed, really robust. It will fill in a big patch like that. Yep. But over here, we've got a few other varieties that are also just as amazing and maybe a little bit Beautiful better color. for your garden. This orange one is called butterfly weed. Okay. This grows in dry soils. This beautiful purple one is kind of a rare one around here, but it's native. It's called purple milkweed. And then this stuff over here with the really great pink flower, this is swamp milkweed. This one you can find in nurseries everywhere. I grew this in my yard in DC. And it attracts butterflies, monarch caterpillars, native bees, all of the different pollinators that we're going to be celebrating for National Pollinator Week, which is June uh, 20th through 26. Perfect time to plant a butterfly garden. And, and now, again, going back to the fact that it affects kind of the food that we eat, and that's because it goes back to the fact that yeah, they're pollinators. One in, three bites, one in three bites of food we have comes from bee pollinators. They're really important. You can save them in your yard by creating a butterfly and pollinator garden, even in a container. It's so important to yeah. do for, the, for nature, and um, who would know that better? than the nature geek is what he calls himself, <laughs> that's, guys. That's true. We're going to be back here later in the hour at Brookside Gardens, such a cool place to head to to learn more about butterflies. But for now, we'll send it to you in the studio.